Day 83, Psalm 83. Psalm 83 is a difficult psalm to read and make a connection with in these days. It is set in a particular historical period and some commentators think that it's one of the earliest psalms to be written because of this. Let's hear the first few verses. O God, do not be silent, do not be deaf, do not be quiet, O God. Don't you hear the uproar of your enemies? Don't you see that your arrogant enemies are rising up? They devise crafty schemes against you and your people. They conspire against your precious ones. And verse 5 says, This was their unanimous decision. They signed a treaty as allies against you. Those Edomites and Ishmaelites, Moabites and Hagrites. And it goes on to list another half dozen armies with even more difficult names to pronounce. There's a coalition of forces against the writer and God appears to be doing nothing about it. There's always a conundrum of bad things happening to good people. Philosophers through the ages struggle to come to terms with this aspect of the human condition. Things happen. Things happen that we have no control over. We wonder why. We look for someone or something to blame. It is never ourselves, of course. But Christians believe that the better reaction should be, now that this has happened, what are we going to do about it? And how can we help our neighbour? The neighbour next door, the neighbour on the other side of the world. We need to support each other so that we can better support those around us. The psalmist goes on to remember that in times past God was in difficult situations, as he still is. Verse 9. Do to them as you did to the Midianites, and as you did to Sisera and Jabin at the Kishon River. They were destroyed at Endor. God has saved his people during earlier times of trouble. And in the final verses, the writer looks forward to the days when the enemies will recognise God. Let them be ashamed and terrified forever. Then they will learn that you alone are called the Lord, that you alone are the Most High, the Supreme over all the earth. When this time of difficulty and worry is over, we will be able to look back and say that even when things were bleak, God was there. In the phone call to a friend, the donation to charity, the nurse who says to a young patient, I will be your mammy for the next little while. Every small act of kindness is is a precious gift. Even now in the midst of COVID-19, we can see that God is with us and can drive away our fear. Amen.